Okay guys, Mr. Ballion here. It's lesson two and I mean tutorial two in Sketchbook Pro. I just did this one and believe it or not the audio was not on. Isn't that nice? Fantastic. So let's start again. Sweet. I'm gonna go to file new. Let's try this a little different this time around. I'm gonna go in here image canvas size because I want to know what size this canvas is in the background, right? And I'm gonna change it to inches right now and I want to work in legal. Change this 14. 8.5 all right, so there it is. That's my canvas. Okay, so my canvas size is 14, legal. Size sheet. Um, in our next tutorial, in this tutorial, I just wanted to make, um, okay, you saw earlier, a uh, marquee box down here for a title box, right? So I'm just going to select uh, the marching ants here, rectangular marquee, and come down here. And let's pick a color, orange, and get my bucket, drop it. And there it is, Command D, deselect, that's done. All right, so that's the layer. It's there. I'm locking it. I'm leaving it. I don't want to add anything to this. So let's go with text at this point. Um, here's some samples of what I did before, okay? So you get where I'm going here. I'm adding uh, more skills. I'm not about teaching you every button here, okay? You have plenty of time to explore on your own. Look at this. In my grade 11 um, comp tech animation class, we were creating characters. And I was using, eventually this is going to be a chibi character. However, I use this. So imagine you bring an image in, you make a title bar or a box, you write some uh, words, and you got yourself a title bar. So this app is quite versatile. So here, check this out. In my grade 12 animation class, we're making a game environment. So we bring a reference in, we start sketching ideas, we start exploding it, deconstructing aspects of the elements that come together to make it. That sweet, same app. Last one, this one will be a little surprise for you. I used to do this in Photoshop, making my own painted textures from reference. And believe it or not, this time I did it in Sketchbook Pro. I challenged myself, and this is something maybe I'll add in the future in one of my tutorials. So you can actually take this texture here and apply it to wood boards in any 3D uh, polygon environment or, or element. Whoa, what was that? Let's Command Z that. And I'm going to delete this layer now quickly and start again. Where is it? Duplicate. Oh, the X is hidden. Something's happening. Oh, I know. It's locked. Okay. Bye-bye. Let's do this again. Wow. There's some wild things going on here. New layer. You're bye-bye. Okay. Let's try this again. Mar uh, oh, I know why. We're in the gradient tool. Okay. So here. Marquee tool. Marching ants are moving. Get the bucket. Pick any color you want. I'm picking orange. Done. Command D. All right. That part's done and I'm gonna lock it alright so on top of this I'll go to text this time I'm gonna leave it black so we can see it and I'm gonna type in uh, I'm gonna go to caps locks right now and I'm just gonna go with uh, Arial black okay most of you will have this on your computers not that you need to follow this Arial black it's a title for me 72 and I'm just gonna go concept come on C-O-N yeah concept sketches okay oh, what did I do there it is it's right there I'll bring it over here whoa super okay there's my <laughs> here's the layer okay I can see it now good concept sketches there I'm thinking of editing this so look at that text layer and it's highlighted and let me just bring this down over I'm gonna highlight the entire um, selection uh, I want to go to fonts forget the color and let's just go to Avenir. Well, that's not Avenir. This is Avenir. Okay, cool. Something simple. See? Concept sketch is done. Okay, so instead of, and I know most of you do this, you start selecting the T tool and then you start typing somewhere, right? So I can always do this as well. Like, look, I can duplicate my layer, come over here. Okay, don't be locked and then edit it right so instead of concept sketches so I can go in here and go tech design right check this out tech design so I didn't have to do anything other than duplicating it uh, reduce the uh, the size and there it is I can and look at that it didn't do it because maybe I moved too fast which is fine one more time tech design go here text edit go to fonts and make sure your selection changes so if you leave it the way it is it's not you got to watch the change there okay love making mistakes because we can learn from it okay tech design I don't know let's just leave it like that okay 
tech design. I'm going to duplicate this one more time. All right. This time I'm going to add, I'm going to change this to be my name. Okay. So I'll just come over here. Mr. A. Ballion. Let's go. Uh, and I'm going to highlight it, go to fonts, and reduce it one more time the size. If I press OK and move it, where to go? Okay, so there's some real bizarre things going on here. So let's try again. It's there. Okay, so where did it go? Maybe it's off my page. Yes, so look at that. You need to hover. This is a great, actually, um, a teaching moment here. Look, I had this off the page. I didn't even know where it was. Uh-oh, I'm seeing it there. So sometimes you need to hover, grab the puck, and move it. See, I knew I had typed it. Okay, Mr. Ballion, so I'll just move myself somewhere down here. All right, done. So let's get away from this business of writing things. Let's get to drawing. All right, before that, I'm going to bring in um, an image for inspiration. Of course, we do all our designs through concepts first, so file. Look at the language, add image. How simple is that? So now I'm going to go over there and bring a bottle. Uh, we did Vivant on my own. So let's bring Vivant. Here we go. Let's just try to recreate that tutorial. Okay, cool. That I lost. So here's the bottle, and watch how cool this is. If I select the inside of the wheel here, the puck, and I scale, look at that. Constraint XY, beautiful. I don't even have to hold shift like I do in Photoshop, right? All right, it's done. It's here. I'm moving it somewhere here. Return, done. So again, back over here, I'm going to get my selection tool and do something like this. Delete. And now, instead of making a new box, I'm just sliding it over. Bye-bye. And then uh, return, nothing. Command D. Oh yeah, that worked. So this this tool is done. All right, now I want to move it. It's here. I can see it, but I want to move it. Nope, not happening. Look at this. This is the key. Select and move, like in uh, 3ds Max. Uh, when you see the four arrow, it means transform. Okay, so this looks good over here. I'm good. Now I'm going to lock it. Thanks for coming out. And I'm going to get this little arrow and move it up. Okay, so this is really nice. This little arrow over here you can move things uh, the order of your layers so now i'm going to make a new layer and i'm going to start drawing drawing okay so last lesson i gave you guys the symmetry tool okay which was something like this and i want the vertical and again move the little little dot here the little control point down below and the reason for that was because i was inadvertently hitting it and i was moving my when i was drawing here and the circle was there I was moving my symmetry line it was getting a little frustrating then I realized hey maybe I could move that point that worked all right let's take let's draw this one here all right something like that so we have a center so we're just gonna do something like that do another one like that okay cool and do another one down here and again I'm really exaggerating here having fun and I'm, I'm doing this on purpose that I'm not going for perfection guys okay so we're not and there is no such thing anyway so just avoid it just like I'm just turning, 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 having fun. I'll do another one underneath here. Okay, just like that. And there it is. All right. So I have a few things. Um, this one is a little wider. So why don't we go a little wider here? Something like that. Look. Okay. And uh, this is in perspective. That's kind of not. All right. So look at that. Boom. That. And if theirs was a little thicker. So why don't I just come and do that? Something like this. Okay. All right, so that's my first piece right there, coming this way. There. All right, so um, now I'm going to knock these lines in. So the easiest thing you can do is actually bring your ruler tool. Look at that. So I'm just going to come over here, tilt that over. That's not bad. And you know what? Symmetry's on. Oh, my goodness. Look how awesome that is. So we have symmetry and ruler working together. How cool is that? Outstanding Autodesk. Thank you for that. Okay, so here I'm popping that over there. And again, I said to you guys, please, please, please zoom in and zoom out when you're drawing. Okay, so I may change my thickness. Click, move it up, change my color over here and slide this over here I don't need it anymore so I'm just gonna come in here and again you guys can say hey this was okay for rough why don't I just knock in a new layer and do what I want I want things to look a lot better so I'll just like you know I'll work it like that and there's the other layer coming in this way over here and pop up right there 
and I can knock that in in a minute. I'll go to the bottom, holding space bar. I really want to accentuate this piece here. Okay, like that. There it is. Maybe that's a little too thick right now, but hey, I'm forcing myself and you guys to draw things rough. Rough and tough. So here it is. Look at that. Right here. Slide over. Good. And now let's knock it in. And because symmetry is on, how sweet is that, right? X. Done. All right. So that's one. All right. If you guys are not comfortable making ovals, you do have other options now. So I'm just going to lock this one up too. Make a new layer. You can come over here, Mr. Ellipse. And sorry. <laughs> symmetry line and I'm just gonna draw uh, I don't need that I just need my ruler here and I'm gonna rotate it in the bottom watch down here make sure it reads 90 there's 90 I'm gonna come over here and just do it free freely means I'm gonna draw a line say thank you and and actually what I want to do is uh, I'm gonna back step here I'm gonna make this orthographic for you guys because some of you are not comfortable with using drawing ovals that's what I meant to say okay we'll come back to free in a minute so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold shift, hold shift, nice, hold shift. That means you're drawing straight. I wish the day comes where I can go shift and it'll do what Photoshop used to do. But no need because we have a ruler. Check it out. So I come over here, angle it up. And then at this point, perhaps before I do that, I need my symmetry line, right? So if I pop my symmetry here, good, right? And then I'm going to bring uh, this bottle here, somewhere like that. And then now all you're doing, guys, is working orthographically. All right. And you've got that. Sweet. I can slide this over a touch because what I want to do is have this guy over here. How nice is that? X. Bye-bye. And now I'm going to hold shift over here. And there's that. There's this. And even here, I'm actually doing things super rough. Okay. Notice. I'm not making it perfect. I love it. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in. And then I'm going to do maybe something like that. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just having fun. Okay, so you have a choice. Orthographic. I personally like this because this is more exciting. This is okay. You know, this is the final product. Um, before production, we would go orthographic in CAD sense. Um, it's pretty cool. Let me just resize it really fast. So... I'm in another layer. So if I just resize just by selecting this transform, look at that. So I can move it over there. Press OK. These two I can merge down. Even though it's locked, let's see if we can move it. And yes, we can. And we're just going to do that. So you've got two, two drawings, right? I'm going to come over here and select and move, transform. Move that you you're communicating the same idea obviously I think this is more exciting maybe I'll do one more version of this okay and I'm gonna do it totally without rollers all right without rollers so I'm gonna um, reduce the size one more time because I want three on this page so this will be here return go to the layer be below select my transform tool and slide that over sweet boom and then I'm gonna make a new layer lock this guy this time I'm gonna do one totally freehand meaning I'll just go do something like that really light I'm gonna zoom in in the same drawing and then um, all I've done here I'm not using symmetry so I'm just gonna do something like this okay and the good thing about this is you've got a center line you kind of know roughly where you're gonna be okay and then somewhere down here and I'll do one right above it okay and I'll just gonna zoom in you can do it this way too look at that so here is where you're actually working. Okay, no. Okay, and this is perfectly fine with me too. So you've got this one happening, right? And it's totally free, free-handed. And this angle is a little more extreme than the other side. But the good thing is you're kind of eyeing. Okay, so I'm just going to do another one here. I'll just go like that. And um, just do something like this here. And then I'm just going to go like that. To me, this works too, okay? So look, I'm, I'm obviously changing the design a bit, but that's okay. I'm just making things freehand. To me, this works too. Okay, let me just zoom in, bring this up, scale in, boom, like that. Okay. Without any rulers, I think this works as well. So I'll zoom in over here, and I'll just make 
little one here, like that. Making stuff as I go. Not bad. Knocking it in place. Cool. So, totally three different approaches. That's pretty cool. I'm liking that. Um, it's quick. And this was what? How many minutes did this take? Let's see. So far, it's just about 15 minutes to do all of this title block, bring an image in. And so the key is, guys, have fun. Decide decide what you want to do, which, which approach you want to work with. But I, I'm going to encourage you to um, approach it this one, that one, last. When you're all done, this is something that I'm going to ask for later. Okay, I would work here and here. Okay, when you have your design figured out, we would do something like this for fun. All right, uh, that's good. I think uh, this is good lesson two much reviewed about what we did in the last lesson including bringing images in cropping things out uh, setting up title boxes um, placing in, uh, colors with the bucket tool and then working with a bit of uh, type all right i think that's it bowing out thank you